Hi everyone, today we're going to solve linear inequalities. Let us define first linear inequality. A linear inequality in one variable is an inequality that can be written in one of the following forms, where A, B, and C are real numbers and A is not equal to zero. First is AX plus B is less than C. Second, AX plus B is less than or equal to C. Third, AX plus B is more than C. And AX plus B is more than or equal to C. Let us have now the addition and subtraction property of inequality. For any numbers A, B, and C, if I have an inequality here that A is less than B, then A plus C is less than B plus C. Also, A minus C is less than B minus C. In words, we can add or subtract the same quantity or number from both sides of an inequality and still keep the inequality. It means the sign of inequality remains the same. Let's go now to multiplication and division property of inequality. For any numbers a, b, and c, first we will multiply or divide by a positive number. If I have an inequality a is less than b, and given that c is greater than 0, this expression here means C is a positive number. Then, AC is less than BC, or we multiply C to each side of the inequality, and A over C is less than B over C, or dividing both sides of the inequality by the positive number C. Also, if I have the inequality A is greater than B, and again C is positive, then AC is greater than BC, and A over C is greater than B over C. In words, when we multiply or divide the inequality by a positive number, the inequality sign stays the same. Let us now multiply or divide by a negative number. If I have an inequality A is less than B and C is less than 0, this expression means C is a negative number. Then, AC is greater than BC and A over C is greater than B over C. Take note of the inequality sign. From less than, it becomes greater than. This will always happen when we multiply or divide the inequality by a negative number. Also, if we have an inequality A is greater than B, and again C is a negative number, C is less than 0, then AC is less than BC, and A over C is less than B over C. Take note of our inequality sign 
from greater than, it becomes less than. In words, when we multiply or divide an inequality by a negative number, the inequality sign reverses. Let us solve now some examples. This is example 1. Solve the inequality, graph the solution on the number line, and write the solution in interval notation. The first example, 9y is less than 54. In here, we want to make the coefficient of y to be 1. So let us divide the inequality by the coefficient of y. We will divide by 9. And then we can cancel the coefficient and the divisor 9. We will get now y is less than the quotient 54 over 9 is 6. So our answer is y is less than 6. For our graph, first we are going to draw the number line. And we will put the number 6 anywhere on the line. Our inequality says here y is less than 6. So it means all numbers less than 6 are those numbers that are on the left of this number 6. So this is our arrow. And since the number 6 is not part of the solution, we put a hole on top of the number 6. So this is now our graph. For the interval notation, all the numbers on the left are coming from the negative infinity. So we put first the negative infinity. Of course, we use the parentheses every time there is infinity involved. And then comma, followed by the end number, and that is the 6. And the right parentheses here means this number 6 is not part of the solution set. So this is now our final answer. Let's have example 2. Negative 7x is less than or equal to negative 70. Again, we want to make the coefficient of x equal to 1. So we will divide the inequality by negative 7, the coefficient of x. But since we are dividing the inequality by a negative number, take note that our inequality sign reverses. So here we have now negative 7x over negative 7 is greater than or equal to negative 70 over negative 7. So after we cancel, only the x comes down and greater than or equal to negative 70 divided by negative 7 is positive 10. So this is now our inequality answer. For our graph, we draw the number line. And then let us check again our inequality. x is greater or equal to 10. All numbers greater than 10 or equal to 10 are those numbers from 10 and numbers on the right of 10. So this is now our graph. And since 10 is part of our solution, we put a solid dot on top of the 10. For the interval notation, we're going to write all the solution set. It starts with 10. We use the square bracket here to denote that 10 is part of the solution. And then comma. In here, we use infinity because the numbers on the right are unlimited. And then the close parenthesis here because every time there is infinity, we use parenthesis. So this is our final answer. Let us have example 3. 9p plus 4 times the quantity p minus 14 is greater than 8p minus 46. So we are going to simplify this using properties of inequality. 
let us simplify both sides of the inequality. On the right side, it is already simplified. On the left, we are going to do some simplification. Let us begin by simplifying this 4 times the binomial p minus 14. We will multiply this 4 to each term of the binomial. So we have now this 9p copied here plus 4 times p is 4p and then 4 times negative 14 is negative 56. Then we will just copy the right side. Next in line is to combine the 9p plus 4p. It's now 13p. Then the negative 56 is copied here. Then all the right side is simply copied. Next, we are going to remove this negative 56 here. So I'm going to add 56 on the left side. The same value I should add on the right side. So we can now cancel this negative 56 and positive 56. Only the 13p comes down here. Greater than the 8p is copied. Then we will combine the negative 46 plus 56. So this is plus 10. Next, the 8p, we want to remove this on the right side. So I'm going to put negative 8p here to cancel this 8p later. Of course, I should not forget on the left side, I should also put negative 8p. Then I can now cancel this 8p minus 8p. This positive 10 comes down here. Then simplifying the 13p minus 8p is 5p. We want to make the coefficient of p equal to 1. We will divide by the coefficient 5. So 5p over 5 is greater than 10 over 5. We can cancel the coefficient and the divisor. Only p comes down here and greater than 10 divided by 5 is 2. So our answer is p is greater than 2. For our graph, we draw the number line and we put the number 2. Then let us check again our inequality all numbers that are greater than 2. So those numbers that are on the right of 2, so this is our graph. But since the number 2 is not part of the solution, we should put a hole on top of 2. For the interval notation, we wrote all the solutions set. We put the first number 2 as the lowest. But I should write here the parenthesis because 2 is not part of the solution. And all numbers on the right are represented by this infinity followed by the parenthesis. We know that parenthesis is used for the infinity. So this is our final answer. Let's have example 4. Negative 3 is less than or equal to the binomial 4 minus 7x and is less than 18. This problem is a double inequality problem. So to solve this, we are going to simplify the inequality into this form, which means we want to make the middle term to be simplified into x only. All the other variables or numbers must be removed. Going to our problem here, the middle portion is 4 minus 7x. First, I want to remove this number 4 by simply subtracting 4. And since I subtract 4 in the middle part, I should do the same on the left side. There is negative 4 also that I should do also on the right side. The negative 4 is here. Next, I can now cancel the 4 minus 4. 
In the middle, it's now only negative 7x. On the left side, I will combine the negative 3 and the negative 4 to be negative 7. On the right side, 18 minus 4 is 14. In the middle portion, it is negative 7x. But again, I want the middle portion to be simplified into an x. I will divide this by the coefficient of x, which is a negative 7. But we know that for the inequality, if I divide by a negative number, the inequality sign reverses. So negative 7x divided by negative 7, look at the sign here. It becomes greater or equal in the sign here from less than it becomes more than now we can cancel the coefficient of x and the negative 7 as divisor only x comes down on the left side negative 7 divided by negative 7 is positive 1 on this right side 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2 so our double inequality here now is 1 is greater than or equal to x and x is greater than negative 2. But let us rearrange the inequality to standard form which means the lower number comes first. So this negative 2 I am going to write here first but when we do the rearrangement Make sure that the inequality is also on proper arrangement. So in here, the negative 2 comes first. The greater than sign becomes less than. And then the x is here. Followed by the sign less than or equal to. From this inequality sign, it becomes like this. And followed by this number 1. So this is now our inequality solution. For the graph, we will draw our number line and put the numbers negative 2 and the positive 1 on the number line. We make sure that the lower number is on the left side. Negative 2 is lower so it is here on the left and 1 is on the right. And then we are going to connect the two numbers but the negative 2 is not part of the solution so we put a hole on top of it the number 1 is part of the solution because of that less than or equal sign so we put a solid dot on top of the 1 so this is now the graph for the interval notation we put our end numbers the negative 2 and 1 for the negative 2 we put parentheses because the negative 2 is not part of the solution for the 1 we use the square bracket because 1 is part of the solution so this is now our final answer I hope you learned something from this video See you again next time.